in this session we are going to look at whisper whisper is part of open ai and uh, it helps in transcription and translation related work okay you have to write a uh, certain minimum set of uh, python comments to access uh, whisper library and do the processing okay uh, so this is the github uh, repository where uh, the relevant codes are available okay you don't need to write a uh, lot of codes that is it is not code heavy but few set of codes would be needed to access the whisper library that is where the current state of uh, whisper lies today if you see in whisper uh, there are about five different models okay uh, english only models can be accessed by using tiny.en and multilingual model will just be tiny it also mentions the required uh, space and the relative speed okay uh, whisper supports not just english but a variety of languages it supports many indian languages also like uh, hindi tamil uh, it supports many of the european languages and many of the asian languages as well okay what you see here is the wer that is the error rate in percentage terms what is the extent of error rate you know if it does either transcription or translation you will note you know the lowest is in spanish followed by italian and english is at 4.2 percent if you come to uh, some of the other languages right some of the indian languages like tamil and hindi you know it is about 21.5 uh, percent 17.5 percent right uh, Nepali, you know, is at 47.1%. You know, this is a great thing, right? Variety of languages are being uh, supported. So, a third of Whisper's audio data set is non-English. Okay, so that's good. It supports many different languages. Just like uh, ChatGPT, uh, Whisper is also a work in progress, right? Uh, it offers a lot of potential, but it still has some challenges. Okay, so with that uh, introduction, let's get into the Python code. Let's now see uh, Whisper AI in action. We will be writing a set of codes uh, for demonstrating Whisper AI. Uh, the codes are very simple. Uh, certain basic knowledge of Python and machine learning is required. And we will be using Colab as the development environment. For this, you just need to type colab.research.google.com. You will see the uh, page that you are seeing on your screen. And after that, you will click connect. But before connection, make sure you know you are logged into your Gmail account. Okay. I am already logged in. That's what you are seeing there. And uh, now come and click connect. The process of connection will take uh, one or two minutes and at the end of it you will see a green tick mark. Certain processing space uh, will be allotted from Google's uh, uh, working environment. Okay, So if you see we will be actually coding in uh, Google's uh, development environment that is hosted somewhere in the world. Okay, You can see the Python 3 Google compute engine. So we will be accessing that compute engine and writing the code. Okay, it is for this purpose that we click connect and we are using our Gmail ID so that the connection could be established. This process may be already aware to many of you, but I am explaining this briefly for the benefit of those who may not be aware. Okay, now let's uh, import uh, Whisper uh, AI. For this, we will be using pip install process. Uh, with this command, let's run the code. Okay, the necessary files will be downloaded into the development environment, and after this, you will be able to go to the next set of steps. All we are doing is we are downloading the relevant files. Okay, through the pip install process, you see that uh, successfully built is shown, and you will also see the successful installation being complete, successfully installed. You see in the last line right now everything is done we are ready to go to the next step okay 
which is basically creating a, a button, creating a process to upload the files, right? You see the choose files option is there. And once you click choose files, the necessary files can be chosen for the next step of transcribing. That's what we are going to do now, right? You click choose files, the respective file can be chosen, okay? The file that I am choosing is elevator speech, okay? Uh, the processing is going on. Uh, the processing should take again a couple of minutes. So please wait, you know, for the process to be complete, okay? And the file is getting saved now, okay? So the next step is the transcribing. If you see, we have imported the necessary files for Whisper. We have uploaded the files. And now we will transcribe. For this, we will import, okay, import Whisper, okay. We will refer to the base model, okay. That is one of the models. There are uh, There is another model called medium, okay. There is another model called uh, uh, large. These are different types of models that are available in Whisper. Okay, if you see the language I'm using is EN because this is going to get transcribed to English. Okay, if you are using, uh, let's say, a French file, you will have to indicate language equals FR. Right? FR stands for French, right? This elevator speech is in English and I'm transcribing to English. So I'm indicating EN. And now let's run the code. Okay, again, this process will take a bit of time and you will see the output shortly right see the processing is taking time and even the execution will take some time okay uh, this is a recording and i have cut uh, the unnecessary uh, waiting so you will get to see the final results shortly okay so basically it's a transcription of whatever i have spoken in the elevator speech okay if you see that that is an mp4 file right so let's wait for this uh, execution to be complete. So you see now the transcription is there. Okay, it took about one minute and 31 seconds. And uh, the transcription can be seen as an output of uh, the uh, exercise, right? 